Hunters, assemble! What's up, everybody? Solid Two here, PB Recreations, here at Dauntless over at PAX South 2017. I'm presenting. Hey, I'm Jesse Houston. Uh, I'm the executive producer of the team. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're just here showing, uh, showing Dauntless for the first time. All right, cool, cool. So, can you give. Um, I know most of my group, my community is Monster Hunter, but what is Dauntless? Yeah, so Dauntless, it's a free to play action RPG. Uh, it takes a lot of um, inspiration from you know, Monster Hunter, Dark Souls, um, uh, Devil May Cry, um, Terraria, uh, and um, you know we're we're basically trying to kind of wrap some of the best pieces of that uh, together to kind of create this really cool experience. Nice. So um, players that are familiar with this with the hunting style games, will they feel comfortable coming into this, or will they be? It will it be like. What we had with the, oh, uh, sorry, the generations sorry. of Monster Hunter, where it's like whole new weapons, whole new whole new style. I mean, it is on the PC, yeah. and that's that's going to be a huge change for like handheld ah. users and the hunting community. But what is your aim for hunting community and bringing new players, people who aren't used to these type of games, into it? So you know, we're we're basically trying really hard to still make it feel like a, like a, a really like heartfelt journey into hunting. Um, you know, it's a hunting action game, so like, you will feel great on the controller, so that folks who are coming from uh, Monster Hunter will still be able to like, you know, jump in, play, play right away. Um, you know, the weapons and how we've designed them are a bit of a different take, and you know, you know, we don't have anything that is like a direct parallel to, to Monster Hunter or anything like that. And, and the overall speed and cadence is a little different, um, so that might be a bit of a different learning curve. Um, and the fact that everything's open world will be a bit different too. Right? Yeah, I did notice that. So going through it, I mean, we're used to maps yeah, where you break up because of cartridge loading and a whole bunch of other uh, backing stuff. And in this, I mean, going to find the Shrike, for instance, um, it took us about two minutes. Yeah. Uh, from starting point to roam around, and I mean, le there was there were levels. Yep. And you could drop down, and it was it was beautiful. Cool. Thanks, man. So. Um, we talked about, you just talked about weapons. What kind of weapons can players expect in this one? Um, I know they, the, the, they show four, but um, I'll let you go over Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so so we, we've talked about the four. Um, you know, we showed four in the trailer, uh, three of which are playable here. Um, so that there's the, the sword, uh, which is kind of like a, a, a fast two-handed blade that really mixes up elemental attacks with, with um, kind of physical stuff. And there's the hammer, which is like, really like heavy duty physical weapon though it's also got this like you know shotgun blast that you can yes, actually yes. like ride yeah <laughs> um, i saw it like it's literally like a witch's room yeah right yeah, yeah. and uh, and then you know the and we've also got the the, uh, great, uh, the axe which is you know it's like a charge weapon so it's kind of like a if you were to mix with a great sword and hammer uh, for monster uh, yeah and then you know, so like tons of mobility while charging and then also like you know, where you can also satisfy some of that mobility from power. Yeah, good balance. Yeah, like the totally. skill choice. Like yeah. if you want to go heavy damage, but you know high risk, high reward type stuff. Totally. Yeah. Love and we've it. also got the chain blades, which we are we don't have playable. That's the one from the trailer where like the dude like goes yeah. the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we'll have a couple more this year um, that we're not quite ready to talk about because there's no kind of cooking in the oven. I, I um, respect that. But, you know, uh, we'll, we'll be showing them too. We'll, uh, we'll actually be showing pretty often. Like, we love being super open. Like, uh -huh. The community has just been so receptive to, to share, share, share. And, you know, like, I love the fact that we can come in kind of pre alpha that's like right around the edges and everybody just, like, totally gets that we're making it better. And, um, and you know, and the cool part about that too is that people are so receptive to stuff. We can use all of their feedback. Um, you know, as an example, we didn't think that anybody liked the range weapons, and so... I heard that three questions yesterday pop up while I was actually on it. Like, three people literally asked, range weapons. Right. Yeah, so we actually didn't have a plan to do one, and the community is like, oh, we want range weapons. And so we're actually going to do one this year. Like, wow. just simply because the community is like, we're talking about this, which is so awesome. So, just, just for the community to hear that, you are being heard. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. That's, that is, that is, that is awesome. I mean, we look at this game like a performing art. It's like, you know, we're on stage trying to build this thing, and, you know, it's, but then the audience has to love it. Yeah. Otherwise, we're failing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So, um, the behemoths, what are those? What, what is, what does that entail? Sure. So, um, in our world, uh, 
the so there's we there's basically this concept of a fifth element of Aether. And one lets it's what let there be kind of floating islands and you know airships and it, it really is kind of this um, it's like our right? Like, Dauntless is like the world of Dauntless is like the world you know today with uh, like this extra thing, and that extra thing allows and has a very you know, specific set of rules for what it can do. And so basically, the behemoths were, were created through Aether, they consume it, but it's also what keeps these islands up in the air. And so people live on these islands, and so basically, Slayer, the relationship that the Slayer has to these things, they're, like, they're basically trying to eat the thing that keeps you alive. So, um, you know, the, the, as a Slayer, you're going to go out. You're gonna have this kind of boxer relationship with these with the, uh, these behemoths, where like the fights are totally unscripted. So you know you don't know what's happening, and like it's all about kind of learning, it's kind of learning to uh, kind of dance with them. Yeah. And then uh, and we're basically trying to protect you. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Um, how many behemoths can we see uh, when this goes open? Sure. Um, so we're going to want to have enough behemoths basically to do you know 100 plus hours of game. So it's, it's in the range of thousands. Awesome. And uh, could you talk about your new release, uh, Behemoth? Uh, Pangar. Oh, Pangar. <laughs> Please! Yeah, so um, Pangar is obviously like what would happen if you took like an ice cube, a pangolin, and a T-Rex and like squished them together. <laughs> and so, yeah, so they, the original idea was, you know, we wanted this kind of, you know, big, huge, first of all, we wanted it to be a kiss. Yes. Like, we wanted to see, okay, what's it feel like to fight a giant monster in our world? Um, and you know, how does it, um, you know, because we want to make sure that we didn't get that, like, you're just getting a pro feeling. Yes. Um, that is what like, happens when you're fighting big monsters. And so we were like, all right, let's see how big we can go. And then, like, what can big guys do that no other folks do? Well, you know, still being agile. So, like, you know, he rolls and he's got the tail. And then we're like, well, hey, what happens if he, like, consumes enough people? And so um, you'll see basically he's got the. the Kind of bands down his back that fill up over time. And they charge, yeah, and I saw it was like a, a levels. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, when they fill up, then he, like, he turns into the, the kind of the ice version of it. But the cool thing is, as a player, you can manage that. So, like, if you actually get the, the scales, they'll break them and reset them. You'll, you'll reset. First, yeah. So, you know, you're, you're basically trying to figure out how do you maximize damage. Reduce your damage and then also you know, manage this kind of. You know, and a lot of right? micromanage the dance. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. Um, and for, for community, if you guys haven't heard it, that shriek is, is it's beautiful. And, and when I first, when, what is that, last week when you guys put it up, I, I was like, that literally gave me chills. That feels like it could be real. And so whoever made that and whoever thought of that, I, 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 if, I had more, if I had more thumbs. Our, you know, our audio director, Rob, is like, he's so passionate about this. I mean, he, he basically was up all night last night on Reddit to many people on this audio. He just loves it. It's just awesome. So, um, wrapping up here. Yeah. When could players start seeing this? Oh, yeah, you're right. If, you, if, if it's viable for you to say, yeah, yeah, that's totally. So we're gonna, you know, we've committed that this year. Here, anybody wants to play, 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 play. So we're expecting an open beta. Uh, I don't want to give an exact date. Exactly. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to set expectations for that kind of thing. Exactly. Um, but you know, so we'll have an open beta in the fall. We'll probably have like some close stuff uh, before that, um, where you know we'll keep. We basically want to manage. You know, folks are really, really keen and open to kind of a, um, an in-progress experience. We want to try and identify those folks and bring them to the close stuff. And then when, we're, when it's open, it's going to feel polished. Yes, thank you. All right, so that's Solidus 2 and... Jesse Houston. Thanks so much, man. Thank you guys for watching. Jesse, thank you so much. Thank you.